Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic. We are indeed right on the precipice of the Searing Gorge today. It was a little bit tricky to find the pathway through uh, from the from the Badlands. It's, a, it's down here, which it looks like it might be up near Kargath, but it's not. It's actually a little bit farther south than that. And yeah, we haven't discovered anything here yet. We're going to set off in search of some quest givers. And hopefully we can find some stuff that we are at level, maybe a little bit over level, to do. I've never quested out of here before, so I really don't have any idea what to expect. Level 46, Tempered War Golem, okay. Uh, these guys are just a bunch of Dark Iron Dwarfs, yeah. Level 45 and 46. Seems like that would be right up our alley. Uh, but obviously the trick is actually finding a quest giver. <laughs> we, I, I don't really know where to look. I guess we could start by uncovering some areas of the map would be a really great idea. Let's head down here and just see if we can get some map reveals. Grime Silt Dig Site. Okay. Yeah, I have a feeling that this this might have to result in us just like exploring the entire the entire map. Uh, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a building here on the map. Oh, look at this! Um, okay, maybe not. Okay, there's a quest in here. <laughs> hey, hey you, get over here. You gotta help me out. I was running from the Dark Iron Dwarves and I hid in here to get out of sight. Damn bastard geologists and their magic ways. They must have seen me hide, because next thing I knew, they knocked... They locked the door and stuck me in here. Teach them geologists a lesson. Oh, and can you get me some pieces of silk cloth for... For nothing. Yeah, nothing. Fifteen pieces of silk cloth. Wow, okay. Oh, the good news is our inventory is full. <laughs> uh, the other news is that we do have one silk cloth. And yeah, I guess we're going to be collecting the rest. Depending on how much silk cloth these guys drop, that could take a while. And so, well, that's one quest at least from an unexpected source. I'm not sure, I guess that outhouse is the building on the map. Alright, let's buff up. Oh, there's a quest giver down here too. I wonder if we pull this guy, does he run out and aggro everybody else with him? And the other question is, can we, can we pull these guys by themselves? We're going to have to find out the answer to that really fast here. Oh, he's evade bugged. That's a great start. <laughs> you, you come to a zone, you attack an enemy, he evade bugs. Who have we pulled? We pulled this guy. And he reset. Okay. Um, if at first you don't succeed, try again, I guess. So what is happening here? There's someone in this tent. This guy is evade bugged. Oh, how do we, how do we just get down here? Do I just jump down here and fight from the inside out? It doesn't need to be this complicated. Some of these guys are a few levels below us, so that should help as well. 
And we have what looks like the body. Oh, he's alive. Dorius groans. I'm badly injured, human. Feel lightheaded. World spinning, bleeding internally. I must get back to Ironforge. Help me. Help him get back to Ironforge? <laughs> can we can we not can we not do that right now where is he gonna want us to escort him to oh man I don't want to leave this quest here like this but at the same time I don't know if I want to escort this guy all the way across the zone see you soon Oh, uh, let's just find out what it is. Let's find out what happens here. I have I haven't met a single escort quest in Classic that has gone well. They're dropping Mage Weave Cloth, they're not even dropping Silk. Like, it's like, collect Silk, but they're not even gonna drop it, so... Well, we've pulled two melee guys, and we've pulled one caster. Is there any world where we survive this? I don't particularly think so. Honestly. Yeah, I'm already, like, totally regretting doing this quest. And we've just started. <laughs> we've just started. Um, yeah. Forget about this quest. Yeah, I don't care. We should know better. We legitimately, like, we have not succeeded at really doing any... Escort quests. And, yeah, this one can just, uh, go away, I guess. Are we out of combat, at least? No, we're not. No, we're still in combat with everything. Nothing has dropped off of us yet. How is that even possible? There's a master elemental leather worker. Uh, we are not a leather worker. Unfortunately, they're not also a vendor. That would have been just a little bit too useful. Well, we're here for like five minutes. I'm already really crestfallen. We have one quest that we could probably do, but we're not going to get the silk from these guys that we need. Which means we're going to have to go farm it somewhere else, or we're going to have to go to the auction house. We have plenty of like silk thread and bolts of silk cloth that uh, I wish we could reverse engineer to just be pieces of silk that'd be great because like even if I fight these other guys um it's not gonna matter it's not gonna matter let's just keep looking around for <laughs> any other quest givers uh, we'll just try to, like, reveal parts of the map, I guess, in this episode, and then figure out what we're gonna do from there. I'd love to find a, find a flight point. I don't know if there's even a flight point here for the Alliance. I have no idea. It keeps marking Kargath as the nearest town, so I highly doubt uh, that there's gonna be any kind of, like, major town here for us. Uh, but we'll swing up here and we'll just kind of work our way a little around the map and see how long that takes and see if we find any questing hubs on the way with quests that we can actually complete in the zone. Alright, good. Let's head up here and see if there are any quest givers back in this area. Where does this pass go exactly? Does this just lead... Where does this lead? Does this lead back into Dunmoreau?
Requires the key to the Searing Gorge. We don't have the key. I don't think. Not, not that I know of. Okay. Well. Now we know what's up here. Uh, we'll take the road here and cut to the west. Yeah, I'm basically desperate for like just a handful of quests to do. I really don't- I don't know how we're gonna get the five levels it's gonna take to get us into Ungoro Crater. Like, I don't know where those levels are gonna come from at this point. Not when we're, like, running into quests like what we've seen so far. Fifteen pieces of silk. We're just gonna have to purchase it, which is really awful. We can go farm it up somewhere else, but the fact that we are not getting silk to drop from the enemies that we're fighting is pretty pathetic. Alright, the cauldron... Seems like just basically this place is hell. It's not very pleasant. The only good thing is that things here are not are not over level for us. It's not under level either. Okay, what's this? Kaloran Windblade. What does he need? Divine Retribution, hear my tale adventure. Listen as Kaloran Windblade tells his story. Go with honor, friend. Well met. Okay. My father was slain by the filth that inhabits the cauldron. My pleas for assistance to Stormwind Magistrate fell on deaf ears. Nay, they want not to admit that this part of the world even exists, let alone send their precious military into administer justice. I seek vengeance, human. Plain and simple. Is there a more passionate cause in this world? As you can see, I am but one man with a lumbering oaf of a squire. The might of the Dark Iron Dwarves and the beast held in the grip of Ragnaros would surely overwhelm me alone, but I have the utmost confidence that such a brave and ambitious adventure such as you would have no problem handling the denizens of the cauldron. Should you choose to assist me, I shall reward you with riches and wealth beyond your wildest dreams. I would just love a couple of levels. Can you can you manage that? For the alliance. Light so hearing the story is complete. The flawless flame. You have made the right decision. We must strike where we will do the most damage. The four sentry towers. With the four towers in flames, we can infiltrate or we can initiate an offensive before they have time to react. You will need the proper tool to set the towers ablaze. To make the tool requires some materials. Bring me four hearts of flame and four golem oil and I shall craft the torch of flawless flame. Golems and elementals in these lands should be your first target. Alright, four hearts of flame, four globes of golem oil. Look, it's a quest we might be able to do. Uh, I still want to have a look around. Let's head to the north and see what's going on around here. Uh, there's a horde banner that's not incredibly promising. I also don't really see... I don't see any way up this mountain path. Thorium Point. The Thorium Brotherhood. Oh, okay, so these guys are a dark iron faction that is neutral to us. And to the Horde, it looks like. 
Oh, oh, there's a flight point here. Excellent. That's actually amazing. Okay, uh, this is good. Feeling better about this zone. Let's see, can we like sell to anybody here, here perhaps? You got my attention. What's on your mind? No vendors. What is going on here? Yeah, unless I'm missing something, none of these guys want to sell to us. Talk to me. Watch your back. Here there. Oh, you have a lot of quests. Curse these fat fingers. Unfortunately, I can't dish out the beats like I used to due to this here fat finger problem. You see, the climate out here combined with the lack of air pressure makes me fingers expand. They're like gigantic Thelsimar blood sausages. Okay. You're gonna have to carry out me orders of business and what have ye. First on the agenda, pounding the living daylights out of the heavy war golems. Kill 20. Be good. Perfect. You got my attention. Fiery menace. Wouldn't you know it, every time old Hansel wants to take a moment to relax and reflect upon his life, the powers that be give him another job. Me gots to think. Come on. You know what I be saying. Come on. So. These here greater lava spiders are causing a ruckus of some sort. Oil Fist says they shoot fire out of their erm. Yeah, well, anyway, such things upset the children. I guess we- okay, who, who wrote the quest here? <laughs> what is going on? Kill 20 greater lava spiders. Okay, what else, buddy? Incend- Incendosaurs? Whatever is more like it. What? Bunions, lad. Me bunions got bunions. How am I supposed to do any sort of killing with me feet in such disarray? This guy's got hand problems, foot problems. Scrange and Burninate tasked me to kill these things so they can send some expeditionary teams down into the slag pit lava pools to do some exploring. Supposedly some incendosaurs or some such nonsense down there causing all kinds of problems. Now move along and don't come back till the incendosaur population be extinct. Kill 20 incendosaurs. I'm liking the straight up kill quest, really happy that we found this area. If you guys are struggling at around the level we're at, yeah, you need to come here to Thorium Point apparently. What's on your mind? What the flux? Oh look at this, he's a vendor. Uh, let's, let's get rid of everything we don't need. We were holding onto a lot of plate gear. Ah, that wand is not as good as the one we have equipped. We really have to start thinking about how are we going to afford our next speed of mount at level 60. That should be something that we start planning for fairly soon on this character, I'd say. All right, that should be decent for now. Let's take a look at his quest. When that bastard Meltorius left our clan, he left with something more valuable than a pristine arcane crystal, our recipe for fiery flux. I bet anything that the recipe was part of the deal in his new promotion amongst the Dark Irons. I want you to get our secret plans back. I'm sure they're somewhere near Meltorius, deep inside the slag pit. Somewhere in the slag pit of the cauldron, you will find the secret plans. Fiery Flux that, overse that Overseer Maltorius stole. Find the plans and return them. Off with you. Eventually we're going into this cauldron. It looks like it's freaking expansive. Uh, so that should be fun. Alright, let's head down and see if we can start working on some of these. Uh, I need to be tracking only the quest we're going to be working on here. Can we jump down this way? Uh, yeah, we should be able to. And we could basically, like, start in on some of this stuff, I guess. That's a good feeling to have. We know we need the lava spiders.
Oh god. This thing is incredibly large and disturbing. The magma elementals, are they going to be able to drop the hearts of flame? Heavy war golems, we just need to kill 20 of them. We got a lot of items off that guy, but we also got one of the four uh, golem oils that we need. So we are fighting enemies that are helping us progress multiple quests. Uh, obviously I'm a huge fan of that. Whoops, out of range. I wonder if we should be working our way down into the cauldron if we're going to find these same enemies down there. We should probably find out since it seems like to find the one named guy and the item we need, we're going to have to do quite a bit of searching around. And it would be good to know what's down there that we can work on uh, along with that. You guys have quite a bit of health, uh, being level 49. Oh, I don't want to aggro that guy. <laughs> nah. Oh, we aggroed him anyway. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'm like, I'm really questioning whether or not we're going to be able to take this guy out. With the mana that we have. Yeah, we just... We need a minute. There we go, we got a shield up now, that'll do. Alright, let's get our mana back, shall we? This place is quite a change of place, uh, change of pace visually. It's really desolate here. <laughs> you can really feel the oppression of the area. It is. It does not feel like a friendly place. It definitely feels like a place that you would encounter as you're reaching the end of this leveling path. I say the end, but yeah, honestly, 13 levels is probably going to be like 30 more hours uh, that we have to put into things here. But this is a good sign. The fact that we can work on all these quests simultaneously, the fact that they are, you know, kill quests is huge because we're also getting all that rested kill experience. Have some horde members out here trying to tag our heavy war golem, but that did not work out for them. 
Uh, we don't want to get pushed back into that hole. I don't think we want to. It looks scary down there. I don't want that to happen. Uh, yeah, that's... I wonder if it, it must connect down here. Man, maybe now I kind of do want to jump down here. Ooh, I'm seeing enemies that we don't have quest for, though. Slave workers, some kind of knoll down there. We don't have any quest for these, for the Dark Iron themselves, do we? Except for the geologist one. I do kind of want to peek down here and see, uh, can we even go down here? Is this where all the lava's at? It's hard to really say where one would enter that place. Ooh, there is an elevator. Yeah, I just don't know if we're ready to go down here yet. I, I don't see... I don't really see any of the things that we need. Occupying the lava pools inside the slag pit. Okay. The slag pit. Maybe we haven't found where that is yet. The Slag Pit is the name of uh, an area, apparently. Maybe the Slag Pit is somewhere to the south. Let's head this way and let's take a look over in these parts. And we can get some more spiders on the way. Of course he turns around. Of course he does. Big resist on our mind blast there.
Not really sure what level our wand is at, um, or if we can expect a new one anytime soon. We could explore on our mount, that would be a little bit of a faster way. If we just want to have a look around, we could probably... Ooh. Oh, crap. Twilight Fire Guard. Okay, so those guys are elites. So the cave back here, protected by elites. Alright, we could do this, though. Don't outrage us! Ah, oh, it did. Because of course it did. I want to take a look around over here to the left. Just make sure that we didn't leave anything behind over here. Yeah, I guess there isn't a way through. I'm kind of like seeing something back here on the mini map that I don't really know if that's like a structure back there or exactly what it is. But I'm not really seeing any way to get to it to check it out. No, we're not going that way. Hmm. Hmm, interesting, okay. Maybe, maybe it's just a lava pool. And maybe that's all it is. So I don't think we can get up here this way. Um, hmm. Okay, well. Okay, so there's a quest up here, but, um, yeah, we'd have to have a a group to do that, because I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, but, uh, these guys are all elites. So, we're not gonna be able to do this right now. Uh, but at least we know there's some kind of, um, escort quest there. Not that we've had a lot of luck with escort quests, but... Some strange happenings going on back here. Strange happenings. Alright, let's just continue down to the south. And we will see if we can open up some of the areas down there. Uh, let's fight this elemental. Since we don't have any Heart of the Flames yet. Hey, there's one out of four. Right now I'm really mostly interested in opening up the map, learning where all the enemies are at and what is where, and uh, you know, then kind of circling back and completing the quest after that. So we're probably going to skip some of these enemies uh, for now as we head down to the south. It looks like the spiders are like the most abundant things that we're going to find, so that quest should be pretty easy. 
the only other thing is finding some more of the heavy war golems. And then, of course, we need to find the incendosaurs. Uh, not really sure what this is here. Uh, but an orc warlock. Oh, it's Blackrock Mountain. Is it not going to give us like a, a reveal on the map? We're not. We're not. We don't get to open the map up for this. And now it reverts to the world map. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. So we're not going in here right now. What can we explore to the west of here to actually like open up this part of the map so we can see it? Doesn't seem like there's a lot over here. Black Char Cave. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. It doesn't uncover much of the map, but some is better than nothing. It's not where the incendiaries are at. That's mainly what we're looking for right now. Oh no. Oh, we have made a mistake. Oh, what's going on over here? No. Oh, you're a merchant. Well, how about we go ahead and repair all of our gear while we're down here? That's totally fine. Sea of Cinders, okay. Yeah, haven't seen anything about the Incendosaurs area. The Slag Pit. You will find Incendosaurs occupying the lava pools inside the Slag Pit. The Slag Pit, oh, can be found in the Cauldron. So in the Cauldron is the Slag Pit. I guess I could have read a little further, but hey, at least now we know where everything is at. I think we're going to work on the war golems the, and the spiders and flawless flame and then we're going to head into the cauldron and we're going to work on the incendosaurs and and the what is the or what the flux for the secret plans. Uh, and so that is our plan but we're going to take a little bit of a break here. Let me know what you guys think about the searing gorge. As always thank you for supporting the series. I really appreciate each and every one of you being here does mean the world to me, so take care of yourselves and take care of each other, and we'll see you back in the Searing Gorge really soon. Bye now.